What a weekend to be in Fairview, Alberta. This Saturday morning parade marks the beginning of the end. The Summer's End Festival, that is. And this year, celebrating with them, I got this. 43 medicine and nursing students from the University of Alberta who are here for an RPAP-sponsored skills weekend. For many of these students, this is their first experience in rural Alberta. Nancy Liu is originally from Toronto, where she says people keep to themselves when walking down the street. In Fairview, like, you know, people walk up to you and say, hey, you're not from here, are you? And I'm like, no, you know, very easy to make conversation. They're so approachable and they're so open and so kind and it's just so warm and welcoming. That night at the street dance, Nancy says two of the band members taught her how to two-step. Between a 30 and 45 degree angle. And Ashley Malarchuk is also originally from Ontario. I personally am from just east of Toronto and we ended up here by accident and I had no idea this part of the country even existed. Today, Ashley is teaching IV starts at one of six skill stations set up at the Fairview Health Complex. Ashley has now been working in the Peace region for 11 years. I thought I'd come out for two years to a rural area where I could deliver babies, work in emergency, do some palliative care, do some surgery, and then go back and have an idea what I wanted to do with my life. And what I decided was I'd like to stay here. Brian Keppel grew up and became a paramedic in Los Angeles. When I worked in California, our calls were maybe 10 minutes at the most. In the Fairview area, calls are usually much longer. It gives a paramedic more time to treat and get to know a patient. I will actually see a lot of my former patients around town. And so it's nice to get that feedback, to know the impact that you made. Site manager of the Fairview Health Complex, James Halliday, used to be a paramedic. So after touring students around the hospital, he teaches intubation. Let's have a peek. The students also learn about ultrasound. Find your kidney. The rural place is a great place to start your career for sure, um, especially if you're not sure what you want. You may enjoy loving it and staying as long as I have. In the evening, just southwest of town, the students gather for a dinner hosted in their honor by the local community. Local health professionals share their passion for living and practicing here. Family medicine is an awesome career because you get cradle to grave. Rural family medicine is even better. The picturesque Dunvegan Bridge, popular for photographs, and today, beneath the bridge, popular for pancakes and scrambled eggs. It's Sunday morning breakfast at historic Dunvegan Provincial Park. A good time to fuel up for a morning of getting to know this area better. First a nature hike, then climb on board for a wagon ride to the Interpretive Center. Dunvegan. Located on the Peace River, Dunvegan was an important fur trading site in the 1800s. The first fur here um, is the beaver fur. So these were really popular in Europe and they were so important that they were actually passed down in people's wills. In 1821, the Hudson's Bay Company took over operations, buying furs like fox and skunk from indigenous peoples. In 1867, the Roman Catholics founded the St. Charles Church and Rectory. Don Vegan, just one of the many reasons the RPAP sponsored Skills Weekend in Fairview was such a hit with students. It was beyond anything that I expected. I love Fairview! Glad you guys could come out. So, is rural practice now in the future plans of these students? Definitely think I could see myself going rural eventually. This weekend made it even more likely for me. Now I'm set on that I will be working rural for sure.